Hi, I'm Mike Caliban, and we're out here today at my place, Flying Dog Acres, and working with a couple of new dogs here, that, introducing them to Doc Dogs. I've been involved with Doc Dogs and Doc Diving for about five years with my dog, Ophelia, and I've got a new dog I'm introducing to the sport too, Hawk, who I think is going to be very good at this, but we're gonna kind of demonstrate today, have a couple of new dogs, Raven and Jinx, that we're going to do a little demonstration with. If your dog loves the water and it has a lot of toy drive, this is a sport that you might be interested in. Uh, although I warn you, it's very addictive. So we're gonna get started here with a couple of dogs, Raven and Jinx, and you can kind of see what uh, the sport involves. Dog dogs. Uh, Doc Dogs only allows one hand. Now, what some people will do, though, this is what's called the chase method. You're standing there, and the dog chases it. There's also the place and send method, method, where you throw it out there, and then you hold your dog and have the dog chase it, run, run after it. So now, Chris, what I want you to do this time is throw the dummy out there about so it's, uh, it's, uh, we're gonna do the place and send method. Throw the dummy out there about 15 feet. Okay, now take your dog back. Sit her at the end of the dock. And Commander, you can stay back there and then give her the fetch command. Good. And I think last time, didn't we kind of decide that she was doing better with the chase method than the place and send method? Most times, your dog will jump a little bit further using the chase method. But again, you have to have your dog uh, have a solid sit-stay if you're going to use the chase method. Do the ones that can have a solid sit-stay do better than the ones who are more wound up and have to be held by their power? Um, you'll find that the dogs that jump the furthest, it's usually the chase method. It, it makes them jump further as they're chasing that through the air. Um, that said, I have seen some dogs that are in the master or elite category that use the uh, uh, place and send method. So it'll work either way, but if you see the top dogs in the country jump, it's generally the chase method. Now we're going to jump Raven. Raven's a little less experienced, uh, doesn't quite have the confidence that Jinx does. Now both these pups are only 10 months old, so they're just pups. They're just being introduced to this. So you're going to see here, Raven doesn't quite have the confidence, uh, likes the water, has a lot of toy drive, just needs to build his confidence, her confidence up a little bit. So Chris is going to just start Raven out here at the end of the dock and he's going to throw the dummy out there oh about eight feet or so and um, Raven's going to get all riled up and she may not jump right away but we're going to try to uh, uh, kind of build her confidence here. Ideally when you're starting off a dog it's a little bit cold here today it's in the 30s and 40s degrees. Ideally, when you're starting a dog, it's good to be in the pool. It kind of helps the dog's confidence a little bit, but I don't think Chris is willing to do that today. See how she gets all excited, all excited until she can't stand it anymore and has to jump for the dummy. As, as her confidence builds in here, she won't hesitate. Uh, jump Ophelia. Ophelia's been doing this for about five years. 
Um, Ophelia is eight and a half years old, so she's not jumping quite as far as she used to. But I'm going to give her a couple of little short runs just to get her warmed up a little bit. Come here, Ophie. Ophie. Whoa. 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 Come on. Whoa. 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 No, 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 no. Having trouble with uh, the steak, man. Whoa. 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 Come on, Ophie. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You ready to go? You ready to go? You ready to go? You ready to go, Ophie? Whoa. 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 Get back here. Come on now. Come on now. Whoa. 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 Come on, Ophie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good gear. Now we're gonna jump hawk. Hawk's my 10 month old lab. Um, he really enjoys doing this. He uh, is kind of addicted to it and he's doing really well. His confidence is really building up. Sit, sit. Go, 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 <laughs> Good boy. I know, he's getting... <laughs> yeah, Hawk uh, is starting to get down to the end of the pool. I have a 32-foot pool here. Regulation is 40 feet. And uh, he's starting to get to the end of the pool. Now I've raised it a little bit here. We're at about five foot 10. Um, Hawk seems to be maxing out right now at about six feet. So he should be able to get this still. But I'm still trying to find out what, how far back to take Hawk. Um, it's kind of trial and error on how far back because you want them to have about three strides to, and then be at the end of the dock and then to leap. So here we go, Hawk. Sit. Sit. Go, 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 go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. How he does, but I could tell he, his stride was off. He didn't have the speed uh, to get that 18 foot. Come on, Hawk. Go, 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 go. So those are the three events. Uh, the only other event is a Doc Dogs event, and uh, NADD is now added as Speed Retrieve, which I'm really not set up really to demonstrate here, but speed is just like it kind of sounds. It's how fast your dog gets to the end of the pool and retrieves the dummy. Good boy, Hawk. So that's it for today.